Yo, what up? I got my hands on a Sony ZV-1. This is supposed to be a great vlogging camera and so forth. So today I'm gonna test out how good this is. And I'm gonna take my bike and go on a small adventure. So let's go. Okay, Sonic cam rolling. Uh, one of the selling points of this camera is the sound and now it's a pretty windy day and I'm biking so this is the first test of how good the sound is and yeah let's see also stabilization should be all right but yeah now let's go try out some slow motion I think one of the greatest features of this camera is by far this zoom thing and used with this handle I think this is this is one of the greatest things because you don't really get this with like the SLRs and mirrorless so I think very great selling point next I wanna try out how good the Macro mode is how close to a subject you can get. So let's go. Okay, so macro mode I think was pretty awesome and now I've been trying out this intelligent auto setting stuff that the camera will recognize what you shoot and at the moment it's just portrait and if I go really close it changes to macro and if I Put it that way, it changes to backlight. So, I think for people who are just beginners with cameras and stuff, I think it's great when you have an option just to kind of turn on the camera and just point and shoot. And you have a starting point to having fun, creating something. and. Otherwise, there's a lot of settings in this camera that even I don't understand and it takes some time to really get to know how that works. But as I said, one of the best things is that you have this automated stuff that in a vlog for like regular people, not filmmakers, I think it's, it's very, very powerful. So. A good thing. On to the next one and we're gonna try to get some time lapses. Okay? Whoa. Oh.
Yo, so I think the time lapse function is really good and I kind of wanted to do some more but now the worst part of this camera revealed itself and that is the battery. Of course it's not that a big deal if you have many batteries but I only have one so it lasted about two hours and I tried all kinds of stuff with this camera but I'm very happy with this and it's first time using a Sony camera trying out all the features and stuff like that and okay as I was saying so the battery life is probably the worst thing with this but you just buy some more and pretty good to go so it's maximum like two hours and otherwise I think the user experience with this camera how easy and fast it is to use it's very great and now the only thing I need to do is eat my lunch and head back home check the footage so final verdict coming up there peace out I've checked the footage and I'm pretty impressed I think straight up this camera is probably one of the best like compact travel cameras you can get because I think the user experience is it's very well thought of and also the quality like for this small like even if I take off this handle I can just remove it like this this camera you can really fit it like anywhere and I think that's the best thing so the camera is great but I would highly suggest you get this handle because when I was out and I did some biking and otherwise just moving around it's very easy to maneuver there's a button here you can change the direction and then you have the stand thing and you, you can tilt this so very handy so final verdict if I would need to choose just one camera one equipment for a travel like a holiday or something like this I would choose this it's good and you don't get thousand frames slow motion with every camera so pretty good there is a small lag when you're filming the maximum frames it kind of shoots the thing that you're recording and then it's buffering so it's taking like a minute or so and I think it's only like three seconds that you can record with thousand frames a second but if you want it that slow it's probably gonna be just a tiny amount of time so yeah and the sound I think it's good enough you can hear and all the automated functions I think it's 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 nice so if you need a compact travel camera that you can shoot video with I didn't go into this photographic thing but it takes great pictures also but no I think that's it and see you again peace out and the zoom I just love it I think it's the greatest like doo